the most difficult part about the experiment was its unintentional nature. It kind of came through my life like a wrecking ball, like I think uh, actually happens with just about every significant injury. The difficulty is you don't plan for it. Suddenly, in my case, my right hand, which I had no idea how right hand dominant I was, uh, was suddenly out of commission and it was a very interesting time to focus on the rehabilitative applications of my own product. So in terms of, of loss of function, you were talking about losing, it's, you don't really perceive much of the shoulder, right? Now at the shoulder level, you won't lose a whole lot of function. In the elbow, you'll regain all the... Dr. Belzer at CPMC, he gave me six months as my target. And so six months was, you know, immediately became the sand clock that I was battling against. So he's saying six months to just be back to where you were before. If mm -hmm. I can take six months and be mm -hmm. way better than I was before, mm -hmm. then we can, you know, we can applaud all the way around. Yeah. My physical therapists were, no, they were awesome, but they did, you know, have a little bit of skepticism. <clears throat> when the muscle isn't as strong as we want it to be. No way, by three months, you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back at it with full vigor on the TRX. And you've got this fresh new surgical site. We just don't want to get tendonitis in that area. By six months, you know, I'm gonna be achieving heights that uh, that I haven't haven't achieved before. Being very creative with when we get to allow load with it and yeah. uh, making sure it's healed. They were a little skeptical <clears throat> and probably a little concerned about, you know, me screwing up their hard work by. Uh, going too hard too early and re-injuring it, but they were all, they were great sports, man. Presidio Sport Medicine, those guys, awesome. My name's Eric Moody. I am a physical therapist here at Presidio Sport and Medicine. I am also the clinic director. Today with Randy, we were working on some active release technique and Graston technique and some range of motion. Intentions are very good. We want to make sure that he is compliant the whole time and not too excited about the strength stuff. So I think he's actually a very good patient and the surgery looks like it's going to be successful in its recovery through the rehab process. I found a lot of the rehab techniques to be difficult, surprisingly, because they're not necessarily ballistic or big power-based moves. There's two positions that we'll do. This is the first one, pulling, and then the other one will be pushing was when you come out of a sling. After a month, your shoulder's essentially frozen despite the therapist's efforts to, you know, to ambulate it and to, to keep, it, keep it going. You really have some, some issues with mobility in your joint. Those early days were, uh, I mean, by that I mean the first six, eight weeks, there was, there was a lot of pain involved in pretty simple stuff. <laughs> Torture chamber, I like that. <laughs> Did you cry today? No. We created a bunch okay. of new Thanks. exercises, basically, and movements. Because one of the big problems in rehab is that the injury itself, you can't train for several months. And so if you believe that that means you can't train, period, then everything else goes to hell, too. One of the things that I was really focused on using the TRX was isolating the injury to stay within the guidance of, of my doc and my PT but still challenging the rest of me so that it you know, didn't fall apart and regress you know, to a point at which I'm starting in a hole and trying to climb out. Fitness Anywhere had committed to entering the, the physical therapy space in 2010 in, you know, in, a, in a pretty big concerted way. And I think it's gonna be a great big exciting new piece of our business. We're putting together a sports medicine advisor group. It's gonna be comprised of world-class physiatrists, orthopedic surgeons, physical therapists, chiropractors, athletic trainers, even performance coaches. So this sports medicine advisory group is going to help us put together case studies of, of the success people have had, helping develop protocols that can be used within the clinical setting, and also helping us uh, drive some clinical research that will develop outcomes to support what we're doing. So what happens in physical therapy, we give him a progress report or a report card to send to the doctor to see. And he's actually even a little bit better than what his progress report is. Minimal discomfort, no longer disturbing sleep. He's wearing the sling in unpredictable environments. His active range of motion's uh, good. We test it every now and then. And his flexion, which is where the arm lifts up, is about 125 degrees. Strength is great. Uh, at this point where he hasn't even been using this right arm, his strength is great excellent progress in therapy. He is only six weeks. Uh, he has great passive range of motion, active assisted range of motion, 
rotator cuff and postural strength, and he's demonstrated excellent patience with not overdoing activities with his right arm. So our goal is that he be out of this sling, you know, completely by the end of this month. Was this your report card? Yeah, that's my report card from Chris. Okay. How much pain are you having up into this area? None. How many weeks are we now? Six. You look great. So slowly engage that, that arm. About 10 weeks, you can start putting a little bit of load. I don't want to really start adding too much load until we get to about four months. Okay. Okay, so in about four weeks, you can start getting up to maybe 10, 15 pounds, and we'll stop there probably until we get to four months. Well, hey, that was pretty good. I got a more or less clean uh, bill of health. I got permission to cycle. I got permission to run. I got permission to start swimming with a little bit of upper body force. And uh, best of all, I got permission to say goodbye to this puppy. <sighs> free at last, free at last. I almost feel like dancing. Not quite.